Hello YouTube, I'm Frogman Forever, and uh, welcome to a brand new Let's Play. This is Banjo-Kazooie for the Nintendo 64. Uh, I'd like to start off and welcome you. Thank you for stopping by. Uh, so yeah, Banjo-Kazooie is an amazing game. I'll start off and just say that. Um, this is going to be a Let's Play. My hope, my intention is for it to be a 100% Let's Play, something I've never actually done. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. I know what you're thinking. How could you never have beaten this game <laughs> uh, I've gotten pretty close I, I I've got I've gotten to mad monster mansion so I know there's like rusty bucket bay and uh, click clock wood were the last two worlds and then of course you have to go through the final phase of the game I have never done that I've never done th those last two worlds in that final phase so this is uh, mostly familiar to me I I'm pretty familiar with the game for the most part um, but uh, it's those last couple worlds that's going to be pretty much brand new to me. Uh, I, I have seen gameplay of it, so I, I know kind of I know what to expect. Uh, it's not completely blind, but I mean, I've never beaten it, so this will be brand new. So for those of you uh, who are still sticking around and listening to this and me go over this, uh, I hope you'll uh, you'll be you'll join me for this uh, adventure. Um, I do love this game. It's really fun. Uh, it's very challenging, but it's not too challenging to where it's like impossible. It's it's a it's a good level of challenge. Um, all right, so uh, let me start off. I'm gonna clear a file here. I'm not gonna talk to the cutscenes. Most of this episode's probably gonna be cutscenes and just kind of introductory stuff. Nothing too spectacular. Uh, that'll kind of kick in probably more in the second episode. But um, I'll try to I'll try to you know make up for it a little bit. It'll be a, like a little bit of a longer episode. We'll see, we'll see. All right, so um, I'm gonna clear. Let's see. I wasn't even paying attention. So 23 jiggies. That's not very far. Uh, 109, uh, 909. Well, 74 jiggies, 95 jiggies. So I think I'm gonna delete the one that has the middle number. Uh, yeah. Let's just erase it. That's fine. Cause I think someone was using that other file, that game one file, so I'm just gonna leave it alone so they can keep playing it. But I'm pretty sure they weren't here, so anyway. Alright, let's jump right in. And I'm sorry if you're hearing uh, some banging in the background, that's uh, that's my rabbit. I already fed her, but she's still making a fuss, so hopefully that's not too distracting. But anyway, uh, I'll try not to talk through the opening cutscenes and well, uh, any cutscene in general. Not that there are that many cutscenes, to my knowledge. But here we are, Banjo Kazooie. Hope you enjoy. Oh, oh. 
Alright, so that's that's the that marks the beginning of the game here. We can start moving around here. So obviously I mean you can go back in the house, but I don't think there's really anything there. <laughs> um you can just walk around. Fireplace Boggle Boggles? I think that's his name. Or bottles. Bottles. <laughs> I don't remember. I think it's bottles. Alright, banjo kazooie. Kitchen area. The fish. And that's a nice big brother has a <laughs> large portrait of his sister there. <laughs> it's kind of weird though. We had like a girlfriend come over. <laughs> What's with the large portrait of your sister next to your bed? <laughs> anyway, sorry. Anyway, not trying to be... <laughs> not trying to ruin that for anyone, but okay. Okay, so... Oh, wait. Still going? Is it still going? Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I forgot I had to press something. Okay, well, um... I don't know if you have to listen to all of his advice, but, uh, you know, wait, maybe you do. Oh, yeah, you kind of do, to learn stuff. <laughs> er, wait, do I, okay, hold on, I, I'm going to see if I can skip, I'm sorry, I know people might want to read this, let me see if I can fast forward it, there's a way to do it, oh yeah, just hold the button, <laughs> it'll talk faster. Yeah, okay, sorry. I was gonna, um, I was gonna just, like, I was letting it play out, like, read out so that, like, anyone who's never seen or played the game could, like, follow the dialogue, but I think that there's, like, a lot of dialogue here at the beginning, so I'm gonna, like, just try to fast forward through it. Uh, I'm not really gonna read it, um, like, hold on, I think, like, I'll just kind of fast forward and let you kind of read, but... See, I don't know, because it is 100% Let's Play, so that's why I'm kind of, like, particular about, like, showing everything. So, sorry if it's, like, redundant for those of you who are, like, really familiar with the game. Oh, <laughs> forgot. I forgot I was actually doing something. Yeah, you kind of have to kind of just get... Th this first section of the game is basically just tutorial. It's, like, it's... It's boring. <laughs> Am I stuck on the flower? What the hell? Wait, oh, I have to do something. Oh, I probably should be paying attention to instructions. <laughs> I'm trying to rush through this, but I, I might have to, like... <laughs> I don't know. I thought you could just kind of burst through this. Do you even have to... Hold on. Do you even have to do all this stuff? 
because okay wait what am i what am i not doing what i need to do hold z oh he's trying to teach me all the jumps and stuff okay good okay <laughs> sorry about that i know that's kind of like wasting time <laughs> for the, especially for those who are like dude you don't have to do this so i do apologize um, yeah, basically, all I'm really gonna do is just collect all the honeycombs here. That, that's all you really have to do. You're just kind of familiarizing yourself with controls. So, again, I do apologize. Didn't mean to waste anyone's time with that. Okay, I think I'm going back to the front. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't think it requires you to talk to all the bottles to advance in the level. Uh, I'm gonna ignore this guy and see if I can just kind of... Wait, do I... Hold on. It, oh, maybe I do have to talk to him. Damn, that's that sucks. Hold on. I mean, you can just like bypass this whole section, but um, I'm I want to collect all those honeycombs so that <laughs> so that I could uh, get an extra life piece. So, have a bird brain. Blah blah blah. Here's a challenge. I think you just have to fight. Honestly, that's all you have to do. Oh. Okay. So yeah, like that first section was just about the jumps, and then this one's about the fighting. Oh. Now try my fearsome forward roll. And then uh, Kazooie's like impatient and everything. Like, seriously? Hold on. Okay, so you just have to do everything twice, basically. <laughs> I, I would not be offended if anyone was just like, you know what, let's skip this first episode and go to the second one. Because, uh, especially, well, especially if you're familiar with the game, because, you know, you've already, you already, like, know how it works. And just kind of going through these tutorials is, is, is kind of, like, boring and grueling. So, what am I doing here? Oh, am I doing the uppie? That's it. But it it basically allows you to use the, the moves that, you know, the basic moves you're going to need later on in the game, so. Is that it? Wait, did I get it? What am I doing here? Oh, am I doing it again? I'm just killing another guy? Yeah. There you go. Alright, so I learned all the basic attacks. Cool. Uh, let's see. What else? What else? What else? But yeah, like once you get through this first section, then you can actually like play the main game, and it, it, it picks up in speed and everything. It gets more interesting. So obviously those dudes are little life things. Yeah, it's gonna make me talk to talk to bottles because like this move you can do by I think you crouch and then press B, but he won't let you do it until you like learn it. <laughs> so I do have to talk to all the bottles. So I I couldn't remember if that was a thing or not. Sorry. I should have I should have come prepared and played. It's been a while since I played, but you know this is kind of one of those games where it's like you could pick it up like a, like a bicycle, uh, <laughs> and you just like know how to play. <laughs> Jam jars. <laughs> All right. Okay. Yeah, I like the little the little banter and dialogue uh, throughout the game between the characters. They got some. They got some personality to them. It, it's. It makes it. It makes it fun and interesting. Hold on. I'm gonna check my volume. Okay, I'm good in volume. All right. Let's see what's next. What are you gonna tell me? What do you want me to do? Are you gonna teach me how to swim? Yeah. I hope you're not afraid of. Oh no, that's heights. Climb. Jump into the tree and use control stick to climb. Okay. Oh, that's it. You just have to climb. Oh yeah. So there's a there's a honeycomb up here somewhere. Is it this one? Oh. Well, that's over there. I saw it, but it's basically it. And then also there's like a swimming one, but I think we could do that without his help. I don't think we need... Do we have... Can we do this without his help? No, it's going to make me go talk to bottles. Of course it's going to make me go talk to bottles. All right. You want to go swim? we to go for a swim, Banjo? That water looks really refreshing, though. How come like water in a video game always looks so refreshing? They don't have any like realistic dirty water. 
Alright, I know. Dive, blah, blah, blah. Again, you know, all basics. Um, you can kind of <laughs> read over as I skip through it. So I know that, yeah. Okay, that's all I had to do, was just dive. So I, I, I know there's a, a piece around here somewhere. Is that it? Oh, yeah, there it is. Okay, well, you gotta, you gotta hit it first. So it's, it, you get more, like, precision when you're, like, tapping the A button when you're underwater. Um, but obviously, you swim faster with B. And that's your oxygen meter, so. Straightforward stuff. Nothing new for those who've played it. So, again, sorry if this first episode's boring, but, you know, that's, that's just how, I don't know, that's just how it is when you start off this, these kinds of games. I wanna show you some... Show you, show you, show me your moves. You know what I mean. You gotta show me your moves. All right. I, I think I got that one already. Yeah, I did. So how many more do I have left? Here we go. View total. Okay, there's just one more, and I think it's over here. If not, it's at the very, it's at the very end of the section. Yeah. So that's yeah. That's basically the tutorial level. We're just gonna get up here. Yeah, that's what it is. And then you can also get that extra life that's over there. Look out for me! I'm an extra life. I'm a little banjo, a little golden banjo. So yeah, and, uh, if you weren't, if you weren't really paying that close, I'm sure you were. But <laughs> not to say that it'd take a lot of effort to pay attention to that, but. uh... I did get an extra life piece, so that's what the honeycombs do. Now, I, there's not six of them in every level. There's like two of them in every level, so you basically have to like get play, you know, play through three levels before you get a an extra life piece. So I'm at six life. I don't remember what the most you can get is. I think it's like wait, one. Two, three. Uh, well, there's twelve levels. I think you can get eight. But then also, there's like a power up later on. I only know this because obviously, I mean, I've watched other players, but you can also get it to where you, I think it's like 16 is like the max health. But that's that's a whole other story. That's a story for much later. All right, so um, I think after this next little part, we'll probably cut the video. And uh, again, I I appreciate those of you who actually watched the whole video and, and you know stuck with me for the tutorials. All right, and uh, as we we get a nice little view here, actually, I change the view. I change the view. How do I change the view? Well, let me hold on. How do you change the view here? You can go first person. So you can just kind of look over. Yeah. That's where we live back there around the ridge and uh, up here, waterfall. And now we're going here to Gruntilda's lair. Her secret lair. Alright, and we enter through, crossing this threshold from being a novice to jumping right into experience. And a cutscene! There he is. The fun begins. My tricks and traps. We'll see who wins. We'll see who wins. Okay. So basically, we're in Gruntilda's lair. This is like the uh, overworld. And 
Hey, it's me, Mr. Tiggy. Now go and find a picture. With the piece missing. Okay. Uh, very scripted so far. But we're almost done with the whole scripted section of the game. So if you try going up here, you can't. And uh, so yeah, you'll learn a move in the first world to let us advance. But there's only one way to go, and it's this way. And uh, here's uh, what appears to be a door. But we gotta find the little puzzle piece area here to unlock it. We put our piece in. So blah blah blah. Put in the puzzle piece. We get it. A goes into B. We get it. Press A. Press B. Okay, gotcha. So we basically use it. And how convenient that it only needed one puzzle piece to enter this world. It's almost as if Gruntilda wants us to advance in the game. And this is it. This is the first world, Mumbo's Mountain. But unfortunately, I'm out of time for this first uh, episode. So next time, we'll jump right into the meat of the game. Uh, again, thanks so much for those of you who bore with me on uh, this first episode. I know it wasn't the most exciting. Uh, I know there wasn't really a whole lot to talk about, and you just kind of go through the tutorials. So, But unfortunately, that's what you got to do uh, before you jump right into a game. So we're going to make... My, I'm gonna make my best effort at 100% in the game uh, from this point forward. Uh, let's, well, it is 100% so far, but, uh, but uh, yeah, that's gonna be the goal. We'll see how far I can get with that goal. Well, thanks for thanks for watching so much of you. Um, I, I suck at closing videos sometimes, so I'm just gonna cut it here before. Oh, say, say now, say now, even she's so bored that she has to start talking. All right, I'll see y'all later. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.